Hello friends, welcome to Genius Books. I am Vinod Karkol, I am Small. Today we are going to start a free coaching for SBI PO exam, a preliminary exam, which is going to be conducted in the month of November. And uh, 2000 vacancies are there. 2000 probationary officers in SBI. Okay, so it's very, very important. Uh, this exam will contain uh, 100 questions, 30 from English language, 35 from reasoning, and 35 from quantitative aptitude. So, for each uh, wrong answer, one fourth of that marks will be deducted. So, be careful, don't do any wrong, don't give any wrong answers. Okay, out of 35, if you are able to solve up to 25 questions, up to 25 questions, that is fine, you will qualify. Uh, for this, this is free coaching I told you, you can register for my online coaching also, uh, you contact this number and we are uh, conducting online class also, I have an app also, Genius Books uh, classes for all exams, this is available freely in Google Store, you please download it, in that app you are having lot of free study material also. And please register for online coaching. Okay. Uh, here, today we are going to uh, look into numerical ability part of quantitative aptitude of SPI PO exam. Fine. For this, you have to master multiplication table and squares, square roots, and cubes also. So, because you will be having hardly 35 seconds for each problem. So 35 questions will be there on quantitative aptitude. Uh, you will be having only 20 minutes. So for each question, you will be having hardly 0.57 minutes. That means um, roughly around 34 seconds. So you have to be very, very quick. So the speed will come by practice. You watch how I solve these problems because I'm explaining here, each problem will take more time. Okay, so please observe how I solve. You find wherever I am giving you hint for shortcut, don't think about shortcuts, okay? Unless you practice, you have to go through the process. Then only you can think about shortcuts, okay? There are no shortcuts in fact. Unless you master that subject, then the shortcuts will come on their own. So just observe how I solve. For this, you require multiplication table, you should be able to say immediately, if I ask you what is 27 into 7, you should be, you should be able to come up with immediate answer. So then only you can maintain that time. 34 seconds for one problem. Okay, so please, multiplication table and squares and square from 1 to 30. Please write down all the things, paste that page on your wall where you study, your study room, whatever, or on your table. So please buy out them, commit to your memory, okay? 25 into 9 is what? 17 into 8 is what? All those things. 26 square is what? Because here it is. So, by after mastering those simple basic things, then you will be able to solve such problems within the expected time okay now for these things uh, here you see this you are not expected to calculate the exact value that means approximation is required here what is approximation how to do it let, how to do it let us see with this example okay now this problem given all these questions I have selected from previous years question papers they are all SBI PO exam questions. Okay. So see here. The first question is 16 into not 16, no, 16.02 into 12. This second first thing is you have to approximate. Okay. So 16.02 I can take it as 16 only. No need of you can neglect this. 0 0.02. So how to do that? Whenever you come across the decimal number, if it is more, if it is nearing to 1, then you can increase that number by 1. 
here point zero two is nowhere near to one, so I can neglect it. If it is point nine two, then it is nearing to one, so I can take the sixteen as seventy. But here only point zero two is there, so that I can neglect that point zero two. So I can take it as sixteen only. Then into twelve. After that, what they have given twenty three point nine nine. See this nine nine. Okay, so it is almost one. So twenty three point nine nine. I can take it as twenty four. This is what approximation. Then one more is twenty five point seven eight square. It's a square number. So point seven eight is near into one. So I can take it as twenty six square. What is sixteen to twelve? See first, next, second step. What we have to apply is board mass. You know what is board mass. First, you have to do simplify. Uh, you have to simplify whatever there in brackets. Then, if any uh, words are there off like that, then division, then multiplication, then addition, then subtraction at last. So brackets. This is in bracket. So first simplify this. What is sixteen to twelve? Multiply in table. So sixteen to ten, you know, one sixty. Then sixteen to two, thirty-two. Add that thirty-two, thirty-two to one sixty. You are getting one ninety-two. Then division. You have to do division. Board mass. You have to follow that order. Divide by twenty-four. Plus. What is twenty six square? If you don't know, please follow this. Twenty five square is what? You know that. I hope you know. Twenty five square is six twenty five. Then add to this just twenty five and twenty six. You are getting twenty six square. Even if you you can't follow this method straight away, go for multiplication, but in simple way. Instead of doing like this, six six or thirty six, you are carry three is carry six two is or twelve plus three is fifteen. Then take this two into six is twelve. One you are carrying, then two two is or four plus one is five. So ultimately this will be six seven and six. So this it will take more time. Instead of this, straight away you can do like this. Twenty six into twenty six. What are the first? Multiply this whatever there in units place six six or thirty six three you are you have to carry three it is not just three it is thirty because it is in tens place so always while doing multiplication or addition or subtraction take tens hundreds and units so three is not just three it is thirty next two two is or four you keep it there in between you have to cross multiply and then add. Two six are twelve plus six two is twelve. So this will be four twenty four, and then three is actually three tens. Let it be here only for time being. Then this is six. So this is four hundred plus twenty four tens plus three tens. Totally twenty seven tens plus six. So this will give you four hundred plus two hundred, six hundred, then uh, seven, ten, seventy, plus six, seventy-six. So this is also simple. If you practice, it will become simple. So since six seventy-six is twenty square. Now what about this division? One ninety-two by twenty-four. For this, you have to look into your class six, class five, seven books. There you will come across this test of divisibility. Which number is divisible by number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine like that? So here, uh, see the units place digit two two. So two and four both are divisible by two. So the entire number can be divided by two. That is test of divisibility for two. Fine. What about uh, three? For three. You take that any number, given number, and add the all digits. That sum, what you are getting, if that sum is divisible by three, then the entire number is divisible by three. That is two plus 
minus 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 is divisible by 3, so 192 is divisible by 3. 24 also, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 is again divisible by 3, so 24 is divisible by 3. So I can straight away do like this, 3 8 the 24, 3 6 the 18 and 3 4 the 12. So this and this will give me 8. Okay, now 8 plus 26 square is 676. So finally we arrived at this part. This is very simple, this is 684, that is what the required answer. Okay. So this is how you have to do. First you have to follow approximation and then board mass. That's it. Let us Okay, let us move on to the second problem here again follow the same method. First thing is approximation and second thing is board mass. Okay. Approximation what we are going to do here? See, first thing is 100 point. 108.49 49.49 is less than 0.5 so you can neglect it retain this as 108 only and then 59.09 .09 is not near to 1 so you can neglect it make it as 59 only then minus of 102.98 is near to 1 so make it as 103 minus of 208.03 0 0.03 0 .03 is negligible so you retain that 208 as it is ok first we will do this part then we will go to next part or you can do the approximation for the entire uh, given uh, question so this is 14.75 see here question mark square is there minus of 14.75 0 0.75 is again near to 1 so make it as 50 so this is what approximation now this part you have to simplify 108 minus 59 don't do like this 108 59 8 9 I cannot do this I am taking uh, 10 and then 18 minus 9 is 9 10 uh, again 10 minus 6 is 4 1 minus 1 is 0. No, don't do this. It will take a lot of time. You are wasting your time. So, you should be able to do this subtraction, addition, multiplication horizontally. How to do this? 108 minus 59. So, make this 9. So, 109 minus 59 is what? 50. But you have increased this 8 by 1. So, you have to subtract here. Minus 1. So it will be 49. So this is 49. Okay, minus this part. See here 103 minus 208. You are subtracting here a larger number from a smaller number. So it will be you are getting negative value here. Okay, so write negative value. Then how to do this? Again, follow the horizontal method. 103 and 208 are there, make it 108, that means you are increasing by 5, ok, smaller number you are increasing, so 108 minus 208 is what, 100, minus is there because I am subtracting larger number from smaller number, so this minus you have to write, I have made this 103 as 108 to make my subtraction simple, horizontal subtraction. So since I have increased by 5, this is a smaller number, we have to again we have to increase here by uh, 5, This for this we have to add 5. So this will become 105, ok. So I will write it here, 105, it is minus, ok. Straight away, see 200 minus 100 is 100, 8 minus 3 is 5, so it is 105. Since it is a larger number, you have to put negative sign, very simple. So now this is 49 minus into minus, that will be plus, then 105. This is how much is this now? 154. 
So this entire this thing is now simplified to 154. Come to the RHS right hand side. So question mark this is equals question mark square minus 15 is there. So what I do I want what is this question mark so let it be at one side. We send this minus 15 to other side so it will become plus so 154 plus 15 this will be 169 what is this is actually question mark square some number is there its square is 169 okay which number then squared you will get 169 so you should be able to recall immediately so 13 square is 169 so at least 25 up to 30 you should be able to uh, recall what 15 square is what 225 20 square is what 400 25 square is what 625 30 square is what 900 like that 17 square is what 289 16 square is what 256 14 square is what 196 like that you should be able to remember all these basic things okay Keep practicing, like on shloka you should be able to repeat it again and again. There is no other way, there is no shortcut here. Once you master this, then these problems can be solved very easily, within seconds, okay. So, this square root of this question mark square, I mean this is square root of uh, 169. So, this will be question mark and question mark will be 30, that's what you are answer you. Hope you have understood this. So, so far whatever I have explained most important thing is multiplication table and squares. Okay, approximation and broad mass are part of the uh, procedure. You have to follow same procedure for each problem, such numerical problems. Okay, now coming to this third one. Again, approximation First step is approximation. What is 35.85 square? 0.85 is near to 1, so make it 36 plus square root of 17. Just now I told you that is uh, square root of 289, that is 17 minus of 5.19 square. 0.19 is what you can neglect it. 0.19. So you retain this 5 and it is 5 square that's all you have to simplify this now what is 5 square is what 25 17 is what 25 minus 17 that is how much 25 minus 17 8 only right but just not here it is minus 8 because minus 25 is there so this will be 36 square minus 8 now what is 30 square again if you are not able to see 30 square is no 3 that is 900 what is 30 square okay you cannot add here that 6 square and that it will be 36 then uh, it is 936 no it's not like that so if you are okay you have mastered up to 30 now here 36 has come straight away you can do this simple uh, multiplication what you have to do 6 is the 36 3 you have to carry no, that is not in its place it is in tens place that means you are actually carrying 30 then this side you come 3 is a 9 ok now middle part is important for this what you have to do you have to cross multiply these numbers 6 3 is a 18 plus 3 is again 18 so this will be 100 place 9 is in 100 place that place value is very very important ok 1000 place 100 place 10 place and 1 place that is unit place so this is not just 9 it is 900 so 9 into 100 is 900 plus this part is all 10 place so 18 plus 18 is 36 it is not just 36, it is 36 tens. That means 36 into 10, that is 360, this part. Plus 
One more thirty is here. Three tens are there. You have to add those three tens to this, so this will become three ninety. Okay. Plus this in its place six. So altogether you are getting how much now? Nine hundred into uh, plus three ninety plus six. This is three ninety six. So nine hundreds are there. Three hundreds are here. So altogether twelve hundreds. How many tens are there? Zero ten. Here nine tens. So write it here and only one six. So twelve ninety six is the answer here. Okay. That is thirteen square is twelve ninety six. It is not at over, my dear friends. Minus the eight is also there. You have to minus. Uh, you have to subtract eight from this number, and you are getting twelve hundred and eighty. What? Eight. So this should be your answer. Okay. Well, when eighty eight is not there, which is the nearest one? Eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-four is there, and seventy-eight is there. Which is nearest? So this eighty-four is nearest. So you can take this answer. Okay. So that is how you have to do. So twelve eighty-eight. It has come since there is no twelve eighty-eight in the given options. We have to see which is nearest one. So that is twelve eighty-four. This is the answer. Okay, now let us move on to the next one. Okay, next one is what? Again, what you have to do? Same, follow the same procedure: approximation and board mass. 